Hello everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to talk about everything mulching. So mulching is a new concept in Farming Simulator 22 and there are several different ways of doing it and several different reasons to do it and we can even do it out in the forest. So we're going to talk about all of those things today and demonstrate all of those things today. But before that, this video is brought to you by Alfredo Farms. Thank you for being a farm baron. So let's talk a little bit about mulching and why you want to do it. Mulching is done after harvest while you still have stubble on the field. And the process is going to be to use a mulcher to basically break down and somewhat incorporate that existing plant matter into the soil and as a result you're going to get a five percent yield bonus on the next crop on that field okay so five percent yield bonus for basically one pass of a field with a mulcher now let's take a look at these things in the shop so mulchers we're going to go to tools and then mulchers right and we've got several different options First off, we've got this little 1.4 meter mulcher and its intended use is to mulch between the rows of olives and grapes. Then we move up to the TE, TDE 220. It's a 2.2 meter mulcher. It is intended to be mounted to the back of a tractor. And as you can see, it swings out to the side. Okay. Then we have a TMS. 2-300D. It is intended to be used on the front of the tractor, or I suppose you could use it on the back of the tractor and a pull through the field. The way we're going to do it today is I'm going to pair up this mulcher with this mulcher and basically increase our working width. Then we have the Speedmax 560 mulcher. Now do not confuse this with a roller this is a mulcher. They're going to do very, very different things. So it has a working width of 5.6 meters. Again, another do not get this mixed up with a, a roller because this is a mulcher. We have the Dalbo Maxi Cut 600 for 5.8 meter working width. And then we go to the last mulcher here, the TJP 610. It is 6 meter working width. It folds up and, well, you attach it to the back of your tractor. Now, those are all the field mulchers. We come down here to forestry equipment. We're going to get to the forestry mulchers with a TFK 200. It's going to attach to likely the back or the front of a three-point hitch tractor. And then we have the M650. And its intended recipient is to be hooked up to, well, this massive Raptor 300 right here. 100% dedicated to forestry, the Raptor 300. And that is what we see right here around back. So let's see these things in action. And I've got this one hooked up to the back of the tractor. Because the way it seemed, it seemed that the roller here is supposed to be on the back. At least in looking at some of the, some of the other mulchers. So that's how we're going to work with it. We're going to hop in our tractor. And I've got a couple rows of grapes already set up. We're going to lower the mulcher down. Turn it on. And run along the edge of the grape field here. And what it's going to do is it's not going to remove all of the grass. It's going to basically take the grass back a growth state. And for the rest of the growth duration of your grapes, the grass will remain short. You see how that is supposed to work. 
Now, let's run over here and take a look at another mulcher that I've got set up over here in this harvested sorghum field. This is one of the mulchers that looks like a roller, but is not. We're going to unfold it. Lower it down, and off we go. Requires no PTO power, it just rolls on the ground. You see what it's basically doing is it's cutting and, in theory, incorporating the plant matter into the soil. Or at least getting it on top of the soil for then a later field work process to further work it into the soil. But we're not done. We've got some more mulchers set up over here. But here I've got the one that I set up on the front of the tractor. And again, you can see the roller here is at the back. The back is where we have the PTO hookup. Ignore the fact that this tractor does not have a front PTO. Okay, it's going to work no matter what. Then here we have the rear. Again, the roller is toward the back. Let's jump in, and these have a little bit of a trick up their sleeve. So let me show you this one. So right now we're on the front one. And if we left click, side to side, we can shift this mulcher a little bit side to side. So we're going to shift it all the way over here to the left. Now we're going to toggle to the back mulcher and left click. And you can see that we can now shift this as far out as we want it to like that let's turn it on turn the front one on lower the front one down lower the back one down and now you can see that we have fairly significantly increased our working width using these two mulchers in this combination this tractor is clearly underpowered for this task. That's why we're running slow. But anyway, I had it available to me, so I wanted to use it as a demonstration. Now we can left click and slide this thing all back. And left click and slide that back toward the middle. There you go. Now we are not done there because we've got a couple more mulchers set up. Let's run over there real fast. And here we have the Dalbo roll cut mulcher. And we have a field of harvested corn. And the way this mulcher works is very simple. You just unfold it lower it down and drive it across the field does not require any pto power or of any sort and you can see how it is working there we are removing the stubble and incorporating that into the soil and then we have our last field mulcher this is the big one that folds, attaches to the rear. Lower it down, turn it on, and off we go. Obviously doing the same thing. And again, we're gonna get 5% yield bonus on our next crop as a result of mulching the stubble into the ground. So we only want to mulch crops that leave stubble. We don't want to mulch grass. Okay, I don't think grass is going to do anything for you. But we can mulch pretty much every other crop. And for olives and grapes, we're going to mulch between the rows. Now let's go and take a look at the forestry. Because, well, these mulchers... They have a trick up their sleeve. When I saw it, well, I thought of a lot of people and I smiled a lot. And I think you're going to smile. So let's show it off. 
So we're going to turn on our forestry mulcher, B. And the way this works is we can lower it, like so. We can raise it. We can left click, and left and right will open and close this kind of brush guard. And up and down will raise and lower, lower this kind of guard right there. I'm going to open it all up because I want to demonstrate the fun here. Oh, hold on. Got so excited. All right, so watch this. Oh, did you see that tree vanish? Shrubbery, foliage, bushes. Uh, did you say trees? Oh, did you want me to erase another tree? I'll do it. I don't have any problem with it. Tree Eraser is my middle name. We can also pick it up and up. Oh, now we have cut the tree. We have a stump here that we already grind it. And we'll just eat the tree. Thank you very much. Now we can't necessarily erase the big trees, but we can cut them down. Look at that. Let's go cycle over to the big Raptor 300. Just up the road here. And we'll demonstrate this one. Has the same general controls. Left click, left and right to open and close the guard there and up and down to open and close that guard. We're going to completely make it unsafe. We're going to turn it on. Flailing of the cutter teeth. Drop it down. And just completely devour anything in its path. Little trees. Bushes. Foliage. It's all going to go away. that tree we've got the stump here see the stump we'll lower it down and adios stump adios little bits of trees and we come over here and oh I just completely erased that tree let's call this the tree eraser so guys, that is the trick that this thing has up its sleeve. Can't get on it. Let's raise it up a little bit. Chop the tree down and completely devour the stump and the tree. No hassle whatsoever. So guys, that is mulching at its finest. Couldn't summarize it any quicker, really. So we've got the ability to mulch our ground for all of our main crops that we're gonna harvest. They're gonna leave stubble. We've got, and we're gonna get 5% yield bonus on the next crop as a result of that. Then we have forestry mulchers that do wonderful things. They rid the forest of bushes, foliage for the most part, and well, as we saw, they are the great tree erasers. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of mulching in Farming Simulator 22? And more specifically, what do you think of the tree mulching in Farming Simulator 22? And until next time, happy farming.